Hey guys, so I've made some progress on the machine. I have the new Z assembly on there. The previous video was uh, rebuilding the four bearing carriages over here. And uh, now I'm uh, getting alignment of the uh, ball screw nut right, right there. So in the CAD design, I've had these taller up. So if I just move this somewhere over here. So alignment wise, I do have to raise everything a bit. It's like three millimeters or so. And uh, what I've been doing is I've been checking how much I need to align it by uh, using some calipers. Where'd my calipers go? There we go. So effectively, let me see if I can do this. So I'll move this somewhere over here. Take this off. No space anywhere. So how I've been measuring this is with this camera up here. So I put this down here and then I measure that distance there. And uh, yeah, my measurements uh, where it is in the center here is roughly equal to how it is over here. But then when I measure it on the other side, this distance is reduced. So then I'm thinking, what's happening? Is it the gantry or is it the ball screw? And I use the calipers and I checked the ball screw to see if, like if it's twisted or you know, warped in any way. And it seems to be fine. Uh, so then I checked the uh, the alignment of the gantry in relation to the ball screw because the ball screw seems to be much more straighter uh, than the gantry especially like if I'm measuring it out here any any uh, like bending would be exaggerated the most right on the center and out here it's like really good I'm just turning it like uh, I'll show in a video in a sec, uh, how much it deviates by, but it's not a lot. And like if I just kind of lightly push on it, like I can move it quite a bit. So I'll show in relation how the distance from here to here changes over t over the the length of the gantry, and you'll you'll see that on this side it's high, and then it dips down, and then it kind of flattens out and then kind of dips back up. Okay, this is uh, checking the alignment of the gantry to the ball screw. And uh, this is on the very left side. Then the other way. Ball screw rotation. This is on the left side. This is somewhere in the middle. And the uh, right side.
So I'm not sure what to do here. Maybe hmm, I could shim the rails or not worry about it. This is the closer side. Let me get the camera up. There, so here's my setup. So I don't know, what do you guys think? I could either try and shim the rails, which I think would be a lot of work, or uh, another thing I could do is shim this side, so at least it matches up on there when, when they're together, and then shim it on this side, so it's more aligned to that one on that side. So that way, uh, instead of it being down and then flat where I have the most problems here where it gets tighter uh, it'll it'll be a line on this side and it'll kind of go down and then it'll kind of go back on that side so as if I'm pivoting the the gantry where it's warped on those two points and, and keeping those zeroed out and leaving the uh, the middle to do whatever it needs to do and in the middle, that's where the ball screw can flex the most. So I don't think it'll be too much of an issue. So let me know what you guys think what I should do. And uh, I'm going to sign off for this video. See you next time.